Jacobs Institute is really quite an amazing undertaking. It's pretty rare that you get a chance to start or help uh, grow a very early stage new university. I'm Ron Brockman. I'm the director of the Joan and Irwin Jacobs Technion Cornell Institute. One of the things that's uh, exciting for me here is just meeting the, the young students who are just joining us. What I love about them is that they see no boundaries. They know that they are going to be capable of really changing the world in big ways and um, really have a huge positive impact. In the first Connected Media uh, class I graduated last year, we had a group of uh, pioneers that really helped us explore the program and make it to what it is today. I think the second group will continue to build on that. They're a larger group, for one, uh, but also with that larger group, we have a lot more diversity. Uh, diversity in backgrounds, diversity in uh, interests. My name is Sonia Sen, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. My name is Tim DeLil, and I'm from Montreal, Canada. Omri Sass from Tel Aviv, Israel. Hi, my name is Claire, and I'm part of the second graduating year of Connected Media from the Jacobs Technion Cornell Institute. Last year was intense. Uh, intense in a wonderful way. I've learned so much. I don't think that my brain has ever absorbed so much material. In the, in the first year of the program, I actually decided to start a business. It's called Datalog. And part of that business's goal is to put the data into the hands of the people who need it. For healthcare, that's incredibly powerful. I'm really excited about my specialization project to see where that goes. We wanted to build a basically classifier that would use your keystroke pattern when you were typing on your iPhone to then be able to detect what your current emotional state is. We've had some really good feedback initially on our, our concept and what we're building. People are excited about it, so I'd say those two things I'm most excited about. I also hope that my startup is kind of uplifting, has raised enough money for us to have enough runway to, to be able to do the things that we really want. They will be the last cohort to graduate from the Google campus as we move to the new uh, Roosevelt Island campus. The thing that's so amazing is to just imagine and then see become tangible in front of your eyes the idea of building an absolutely brand new high-tech campus with the most modern technology being the first people to walk on that new campus and use it when it's ready is really very inspiring.